Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. How the heck are ya? How's the water flowing, Pisces, huh? Is it calm and smooth or is it rocky and wavy, Pisces, huh? How's it rolling out there for you guys? Let's jump in and do a reading for Pisces. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, have a seat. Let's talk about some things, Pisces. If you are returning to the channel, thank you so much for your continued participation. We're about to throw down for Pisces right here. Y'all see me mix these cards up, right? So I don't want to hear any discontention about reversals, all right? If you're not reading reversals, you're only playing with half the deck, Pisces. And if you're trusting someone to read your cards and they don't read reversals, you need to find a new reader, Pisces. All right, let's do this. As always, this is a general reading, right? Do not make any life-altering decisions based on my general tarot card readings or anyone else's, all right? If you need personal insight, wisdom, and guidance, you can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org. Let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. What does this particular Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What is coming towards this particular Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is for this particular Pisces. I will cut three times. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. Ooh, right there. What is up for Pisces? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. All right, Pisces, bottom of the deck, the devil in reverse, beautiful. The Ten of Cups, the Prince of Swords, the Four of Cups. Right on, the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune to the Five of Cups in reverse. That's going to make hella sense to everybody in a minute. All right, first card out is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Let me get it where everybody can see everything all the time. All right, Ten of Swords in reverse so coming out of some kind of mindset strength in reverse a mindset that is a weakness the king of wands in reverse perhaps that everybody is that way the queen of wands your personal success and the emperor beautiful Ooh, to the king of pentacles ten of wands in reverse to the lovers in the center of your reading pisces the king of swords some truth the eight of pentacles expectations working engaging the seven of pentacles in reverse if you keep doing what you always done you're going to get what you always got five of pentacles cold lonely eight of swords in reverse new perspective ace of pentacles emotional growth six of cups in reverse stuck in the past the two of swords at a crossroads the ten of pentacles in reverse to the nine of pentacles that's a turnaround the three of pentacles teamwork and collaboration and the two of cups some kind of relationship of some sort the sun in reverse to the alchemist let's make sure we're not missing anything important in the rest of these cards right here look judgment to the ace of wands right on all right let's do it let's make some sense out of all of this for the spicy pisces let's do it let's do it so the ten of swords in reverse what exactly is going on right here pisces what exactly is happening right here let's push this up a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better when we get to the actual reading you will see fully the bottom part here okay all right so the ten of swords in reverse what is this all about right here what is this about breaking free the, the ending of some kind of mindset to the knight of cups all right all right all right 
Before we get into this Pisces, I just have two, two, two very important things to tell you. Number one, my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. There will be more information at the end of this video. If anybody out there is going through any kind of spiritual movement, this book will help lead you, guide you, and show you exactly what it is that's happening. And number two, there is a super thanks button that, that I have been encouraged to add to my videos. You can click that button and donate whatever it is that you feel compelled to donate to this channel. Um, and I thank you in advance for that. Um, I'm not asking you necessarily to do that, but I have been told that I need to promote myself more effectively. So here I am promoting myself. Super thanks button and my book at the end of the video. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on right here, okay? This is what's happening, Pisces. This is what's happening. So, we start out here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Ten of Swords in the upright is a mindset that is imprisoned in feelings of loss, regret, betrayal, deception, painful endings. It's a painful mindset. It's a mind that is filled with pain of some sort. Okay, in the reverse, it is about releasing this pain. You see in the reverse, these swords fall out of his back right here, right? So in the reverse, it's about, well, you know, hypothetically, in reality, of course they wouldn't, but okay, so it is the release of a mindset that is trapped in betrayal and deception. Why do they need you to do this? Well, to strengthen reverse right here, right? Because this is a weakness. This is something that you need to overcome and you haven't. It is succumbing to this mindset. And your advice in these cards is to overcome this mindset. That's why they're telling you. You have to release the betrayal, deception, pain mindset because it is something that you need to overcome, okay? Why? The Knight of Cups, because there is a, a, an offer of emotional connection coming into you, Pisces. The Knight of Cups, more importantly, on top of the Ten of Swords in reverse, is about this particular Pisces sorting through all of their fragmented emotions, giving back what does not belong to them, and moving forward. Because whatever this mindset is right here, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords that these cards say you need to loosen up on, or if, 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 if you've been working on it, is not everyone is the King of Wands in reverse, okay? What you know to be true inside of yourself, Knight of Cups, is that you are growing. You are growing, you are healing, and you are, according to this reading, prepared to go forward as long as you recognize that there's some hanging threads that you need to get rid of so you can lift the cup up and be in a position to very carefully exchange emotional connection with someone. King of Wands in reverse, right? Number one, um, this is talking about you processing this pain situation here through your flesh perspective, okay? Through your skin and bones experience. And that's why you're still holding on in the moon card because if you were processing this experience from a spiritual never-ending existence, you would realize that A, not everybody is like this, and B, egocentric and self-centered because that's where the pain comes from in that Ten of Swords, right? Some kind of experience in your life has been with someone or something that was not capable of being what you needed them to be in a relationship. And the human flesh and bone aspect of things holds on to the fact that, holds on to the concept that, that it was about you right? It was about you and you and the whole thing was about you. And no, it wasn't. The whole thing was actually to make you understand that you cannot make someone into something that they are not, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much you care about them. Lovers, husbands, wives, children, family members, friends, you cannot make them into who you need them to be. And that is the coming to terms of the Ten of Swords in reverse. 
letting go of that pain because whomever or whatever has caused Pisces to be in this big internal struggle on the inside really isn't worth the effort that it takes to be in this big internal struggle because the fact of the matter is this person, this situation, this job, this relationship could not be what you wanted it to be in the first place because you chose this relationship out of your flesh and bone experience with fragmented emotions that you had not sorted through from your previous experiences, probably your childhood. You chose the relationship or the situation that damaged you because of unhealed woundings from your past. Now that relationship caused unhealed woundings for your future. And we don't need to repeat this anymore. You need to come to terms with the fact that your existence is eternal, never ending. Your same ancient soul that was here from the beginning of infinity. Contradictory, I know is the same soul that's going to pick up when you die, is the same soul that lives within you right this very minute. Okay? So, Seven of Cups in reverse. This is delusion. Delusional. What's the, different, what's the definition of delusional? Someone who believes something that can't possibly be true. Okay? Why is it saying that this particular Pisces is delusional? Because you are believing whatever happened in this relationship, you are internalizing it and believing it had something to do with you personally, and it did not. It had nothing to do with you personally. Someone who is egocentric and self-centered is only about themselves only about themselves and whatever went down in this particular aspect of your life would have gone down and probably is going down with whomever this person is with now. It's not you. It's not personal. World card comes on top of this and says close this cycle down once and for all. Once and for all, close this down, get rid of it, grow, learn, sort through the fragmented emotions, turn this moon in the reverse and come to terms with the huge struggle inside of yourself that keeps you sequestered to a flesh and bone understanding of your life. Close it down, step into a new phase of your life. You have all of the tools to do this. You have grown to the point where these cards, the universe, source is telling you, step away from it and move forward to the chariot and put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to the Queen of Wands, to step into your power, to step into your power, to know your worth, know who you are, what you have become. The Queen of Wands is passionate and focused, eyes on the prize. She knows, she knows her value to the Eight of Wands and go change, go. Movement, action, change. The second you step into your power as the Queen of Wands and whoever I'm speaking to, whoever this is resonating with, whoever this is for, okay, it's general, I don't know who it's for, but this little pocket right here is, is the end of all of this. And what this means to me as your reader is that this particular Pisces is right on the edge of finding their power, okay? And they want you to sew up these last loose remaining threads, strength and reverse, and stop succumbing to this mindset of pain when it comes to some kind of relationships or situations in your life. Stand in your power, and the second that happens, the world, the chariot, the eight of wands, and boom, there's Pisces as the queen of wands right there knowing her worth, knowing her value. It's your feminine energy. Male or female, we have masculine energy and feminine energy, okay? And we need to find that balance because most people are off balance because they're living in the flesh, right? They're either all masculine or all feminine, but there's a balance and it's the yin and the yang, right? You need to find your balance. The queen of wands is very balanced in her feminine and masculine energies, okay? What does this lead you to? Well, it leads you to the emperor. 
the Emperor to the Three of Cups. It leads you, look, two of, two of Pentacles. It leads you to the place, this balancing, this prioritizing of letting go of the past and stepping into your power once and for all leads you to a place where you are going to meet this Emperor. Some of you have already met this emperor. Some of you have already come into the presence of this emperor. And over here, in the beginning of this reading, you don't have, you're like, why would this person be attracted to me? Why would this person even want to be with me? Why, I have, I, why? why? Why would this person be attracted to me? Okay? That's what they're trying to get you to, to undo here, Pisces. Because you are valuable. You are attractive. You have qualities that this particular emperor is seeking out. Okay? All right, three of cups, right? Meeting someone, joy, celebration, getting together leads you to the four of wands, leads you to a safe, peaceful, potentially long-term committed kind of situation. All right, it leads you, this emperor is the king of pentacles to your queen of pentacles right here. The King of Pentacles to your Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups comes on top of this and talks about soul understanding. The Queen of Cups to me as a reader and the King of Cups together or individually is about ancient, ancient soul wisdom. This is the Pisces that I just spoke about. The Pisces that has been in existence for infinity. The same Pisces that is going to continue to exist in a different energetic expression when they cross over the, 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 the firmament that sequesters our soul to our physical body. This Queen of Cups right here to the King of Pentacles is a perfect match. The Queen of Cups offers sense of, in the card of Pisces, by the way. This, this Queen of Cups offers emotional intelligence. And it, and it perfectly balances this King of Pentacles energy, perfectly balances it. This person, this emperor, that is the counterpart to your Queen of Cups and your Queen of Wands, the two of you have a perfect balance with each other because it's universal order. The Ten of Wands in reverse, dump the burden and the struggle, King of Wands in reverse, of trying to process this life from a human perspective, dump the burden and struggle of whatever fucked upness came from your previous experiences. Knight of Swords and engage in the communication. Engage. If it's happening now and you are this Pisces and you're like, I don't know why this dude wants to be with me. I don't know what he's after. He must be after something because he, I, I, I don't know why he wants to be with me. Right? Engage. Engage. If this hasn't happened yet, be aware, be cognizant, and engage in all of the opportunities that are presented to you to the Knight of Wands, because this is, this is communication. Engage in the communication. Engage in the inspiring feeling of, of being desired, Pisces. The Hierophant in reverse, because you got to reevaluate your belief system. The Hierophant in the upright is everything that we stand upon. The Hierophant in reverse is a complete overhaul and reevaluation of everything that you stand upon, right? And remember the moon, right? It's right beneath the moon. It's right beneath strength in reverse, the weakness. What's the weakness? Well, your core root belief system that you have assimilated and collected from the experiences in your life, from the experiences in your life that have been processed through the flesh and bone understanding and not through the soul's understanding to the nine of pentacles and stand in your power bring it all to a culmination and stand in your power to me personally in my world the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands are like closely related to each other because they understand their power and you have power. And the Nine of Pentacles is about your personal power, Pisces. 
Okay, the lovers in the center of the reading, because that's what's coming to you, to the King of Swords. I was stumped about this King of Swords for a second here, but this King of Swords is your person. This King of Swords is the Emperor, okay? This King of Swords is the King of Pentacles right here. The person that you are going to be engaging with, should you so choose to put the guard down, let the walls down, okay, is someone who is a straight shooter straight shooter they tell it like it is they own their truth completely and totally own their truth they tell it like it is they're success driven they're security driven and possibly with the emperor the king of pentacles and the king of swords representing this person they might be in some kind of law enforcement they might be some kind of trainer of some sort they might be some kind of uh, doctor lawyer um, somebody who has some kind of, of of authority behind them military maybe very interesting very interesting four of cups on top of the lovers says you need to contemplate and reevaluate how you're going about doing things pisces because you think you have it compartmentalized whomever it is that i'm talking to when i first started this reading you were like oh yeah i got this down no i, I this isn't about me because i've already dealt with all of that well no pisces this is your deep subconscious mind and these cards are saying no you haven't dealt with this take the fourth cup what What's the fourth cup? It's the healing, the final stages, the turning over of the healing in your life. Take the fourth cup, bring stability to your emotions so you can be on the frequency that this person is on and universal order can take place in your life. Ace of Wands, do it. Do it. Engage in this opportunity. Do it, do it, do it to death because this is the ending of the human Pisces and the beginning of the soul-based Pisces. Mm -hmm. Bring an end to everything that you used to believe about yourself and about life. Step into a huge, never-ending linear perspective of your soul and transform, step through the portal Queen of Pentacles and assume your position next to this person as the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. Work it out. Work on it. Work it out. Work on these last remaining issues that will hold you back from your destiny. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Because if you keep doing things the way that you've always done them, you will continue to get things the way that you've always got them. Six of Cups in reverse. Staying stuck in the past with unresolved emotional issues will continue to create in your life what you've always created in your life. Five of Pentacles insecurity lonely cold nobody wants me nobody loves me because whatever situation i was in before work or relationship this could very well be a work relationship okay uh, and a, a, a job or something a contract some kind of union between you and someone else okay it's always left me out in the cold to the ten of swords relationships are filled with pain and grief and sorrow that goes back to your childhood that goes back to the wounded inner child this new person is not going to be attracted to your inner child your wounded inner child they're they're just not they're all in the upright and they're powerful cards this person is looking for a queen of pentacles not a queen of pentacles in reverse, not a queen of cups in reverse, not a queen of wands in reverse. A queen of pentacles, a queen of wands, and a queen of cups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To the eight of swords in reverse, there needs to be a new perspective. Unlock your mind from the prison of the ten of swords and have a new perspective. To the ace of cups and allow yourself to open up emotionally and emotionally grow to the emperor so you can connect emotionally, healthy connection in an emotional relationship with someone who is, they got their, their, they got their shit together, this person does. The emperor has his shit together. The emperor comes after the empress, who comes after the high priestess, who comes after the magician. 
right? The magician is lesson one. What you believe about yourself becomes your reality, period. And that is the God's honest truth. Lesson two is the high priestess, your ancient soul, leading you, guiding you, and showing you the path of your best and highest good to have an amazing experience in this physical body. Lesson three is the empress. She's the dirt of life. Nothing grows without the empress energy because she understands that what she thinks about comes about. She understands that her intuition is her true north leading her and guiding her and she never ignores it. She points her mind towards what her guts are telling her and she goes in that direction and she does not argue and she does not ask questions. That equals the emperor. Four. The emperor creates in the physical world what the empress has created in her internal world. The empress, the emperor lives and dies by the empress energy. Yes. Six of cups in reverse, again to the eight of swords in reverse. Free your mind from this imprisoned perspective that you don't deserve this or you're not good enough for this two of swords at a crossroads in your mind and you only have two choices in a two. You will either change the way that you think. Remember, it's lesson one, the magician. You will either change the way that you think about yourself or you won't. And those are your only two choices. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse. Come out of this crossroads in your mind, change the way that you think, and believe, believe that you can have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with someone. Two of Swords in reverse, right? Come out of this crossroad, change the way that you think, Nine of Pentacles again, and stand in your power. Stand in your power, Pisces, to the Three of Pentacles, because standing in your power is the kind of Pisces, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, that this Emperor, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, needs. The, you need him. He needs you. The two of you will build a beautiful life together. Two of Cups, a beautiful life together. The sun in reverse. But what you don't see clearly, the alchemist, is that you have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want. And I am not just woo-wooing about all of that. Your mind creates your reality. The internal self-narrative that you hear in your head creates your reality. Everybody has the power to do this. That's why there's the name it and claim it movement out there. That's why there's the Tony Robbins people and all of that stuff because the shit is real. But you have to be careful, Pisces, because you can manifest in your flesh just as easy as you can manifest through your soul. You can. You can name it and claim it. You can create anything that you want to in your life. But a spiritual person understands that if they're not creating through their soul's guidance towards their true north, they're just simply creating another shit show in their life. The things that they manifest, big houses, big cars, whatever it is that they want, if it's manifested out of the flesh, it's all meaningless. And that's the devil right there for you. An attachment that is a restriction to your growth is what you are manifesting in your life with that Ten of Swords mentality. Ten of Swords mentality. Yep, 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 yep. It's your own toxicity. And believe me, the other side of all of this, there's rainbows and unicorns and all of this spirituality, but make no mistake, there is an opposing force. There always is an opposing force and always will be an opposing force to everything. That opposing force does not want you to step into your power. Because if you get in alignment with this emperor, the two of you together are going to be absolutely unstoppable in both of your spiritual journeys. And if that happens, you become a threat. Not only do you unplug from the machine that feeds on your despair, but now you're going to take other people with you. The two of you together are going to be unstoppable, Pisces. Judgment. 
judgment trumps that devil. Conscious, cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say all this bullshit that I have collected all of these years from all of my experiences going way back to my childhood that defines my identity, that defines my life, that defines my emotional capacity is not mine. Anybody who has ever had access to my subconscious mind has contributed to my feelings of not being good enough. Mm -hmm. Line in the sand decision causes a massive rebirth for you, just like the death card. A massive rebirth for you. Ace of Wands. And it is the spark. The Ace of Wands always reminds me of a match right? Boom, like a wood stick match. Boom, spark, right? On fire, right? Understand what's going on here. Make the decision and boom, this brand new exciting opportunity takes place for you. To the King of Swords, own your truth, speak your truth, cut off all the bullshit that came before this. More importantly, this King of Swords is reiterating that this person owns their truth and they need you to own your truth so the two of you can come together. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups, move on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the wheel in reverse because it's blocking universal order. Yeah, they will not. They cannot go against your free will. And if your free will continues to manifest all this bullshit that we've already talked about, then so be it. Universal order carries on with or without you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To the Queen of Swords in reverse. Denial, succumbing, not being sharp in the mind, not controlling your mind, out of control of your mind, Pisces. Your mind creates your reality. Four of Cups again. Come to terms with it. Take the fourth cup and understand you don't got this locked down, Pisces. There are some hanging threads that need your attention so you can be ready for this. To the King of Swords, communication, fast, pointed, straightforward communication is coming your way. And it's in your interest to engage with it. Ten of Cups, because it's going to lead you to exactly what you want. The Ten of Cups, everything you've ever wanted, Pisces. This new relationship offers that. To the Devil in Reverse, very last card in this spread. Devil in Reverse says, release your limiting beliefs. Detach from your own toxicity. Be reborn into an understanding of your never-ending soul's journey and act accordingly in every aspect of your life. Mm -hmm. That allows universal order to take place in your life. And this is a beautiful, beautiful relationship. I hope that helps someone. Stand by for some information on my book. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.